We do turn the page to developing news and two people in court today charged with abuse after the death of this two-year-old boy. He was Gilbert Grant. Here he was eating spaghetti and toast. The person who sent us this photo says the photo was taken on April 15th. Court documents say the boy died 11 days later. And then this moment was caught on camera today as a man approaches one of the suspects in this case. Watch. Jerome. Better pray you don't get out, David. That other man arrested after authorities led him from court, saying, better pray you don't get out, David. The man he approached is David Hyden. David and Rena Santiago are charged with abuse of a child causing death. A third woman has lesser charges in the case. Court documents say Santiago was the mother of two-year-old Gilbert, who died in this case. And court documents say that she is nine months pregnant due to give birth to another child coming up the day after Mother's Day. It is not known if CPS was ever told of any alleged abuse in that case before the boy's death. Local county officials in, say in order for a Child Protective Service to intervene in an abuse situation, they need to be alerted from someone first. Court documents say the abuse of the two-year-old went on for eight months. It's still unclear if CPS had any involvement in that case. The victim was allegedly hit by several blunt objects such as a shoe, a belt, and an open hand. But someone would have to call authority to let them know the abuse was happening. Counties are charged um, um, with prioritizing caregiver risk. Uh, so if there's um, abuse or neglect going on in the home from a caregiver, uh, those are the cases that counties um, would go out on and try to establish safety. Court records state the victim's mother would not take him to doctor's appointments because she knew the doctors would see the bruises. Raymer says doctors are required to report any abuse if they see it.